Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 18 career mode. Here today, we're going to be starting a World Cup playthrough as Portugal. We're going to be starting in the group stages, of course, and try and get to the final in today's video. We're going to be doing a full playthrough. So guys, if this video can hit 250 likes, I will do another World Cup playthrough with uh, a different team. Let me know in the comments who you would like me to play as. Already played as England and my home country of Australia. Australia, of course, but welcome back to some more FIFA 18 World Cup edition. This is the Portugal squad I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be playing a 3-4-2-1 with an attacking midfielder a little bit higher up. We've got Ronaldo C leading the line. And we're going to be starting the first match of today's episode against Spain. Hopefully we can start off our group stage campaign with a bang. Okay, guys, welcome, welcome to the first match of today's episode in Sochi. We're going to be fighting against Spain. And obviously, in real life, this, mani this map, uh, map, <laughs> this, uh, this game finished 3-3, this match. Hopefully, we can have similar circumstances. Ronaldo scored a hat-trick as well, but I've been loving the World Cup in real life. It's been phenomenal, has it? The Germans have been knocked out. My God. <laughs> and the Australians have, unfortunately, as well, losing to Peru 2-0. Fuck's sake. But let's try and take Portugal to the end. So Nani leading the line in silver for us as well. We're coming up against Spain, who have Costa, Isco, David Silva, Martinez, Busquets, and uh, we've got Martinho, Gial Mario, David De Gea is in goal for Spain, Carvajal, Ramos and PK. What a backline, Jordi Alba, uh, Busquets and yeah. So that is Spain's team. Let's get stuck into the match. Spain charging forward here with Martinez. Pepe coming forward. Pepe gets dispossessed. Font. Oh my God, CM do. Drops to the deck. Font charges out. Gets in the tackle, but Isco manages to just pull it out. Ronaldo on the ball. Sees a nice through ball to Martinho. Nani! Yes! Nani starts off the scoring. It's 1-0 just before the 11th minute. I nearly fluff up the tramp goal, crossing in front of them. But Nani starts off the scoring just before the 11th minute. The godfather of Angel Gomez, the Manchester United player, breaks away here. Oh my god, David De Gea, by the smallest of margin, has let that one in. And it's a nutmeg! Oh, that's why it's gone It's clipped him on the thigh there, on the turkey thigh. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Ronaldo with his chop, and it comes off PK. Spain managed to only get as far as Martinho! Oh, hits it on the volley, but it wasn't to be. 1-0 up against Spain. Now they have a free kick in a dangerous area. Siemdu pushing to the left corner there. Isco steps off. It's over the top. Silva! Oh, come off it, mate. It's 1-1. Just before the 36, David Silva, the Spaniard international, gets to the head of there. And why is he celebrating with Pepe Reina? Oh, that's so funny. I would love Pepe. I think like any of the top Premier League clubs would love to see Pepe Reina as their third goalkeeper. He's such an awesome man to have around the dressing room. And look at him on the touchline there. He's been the mascot. But man, oh man, guys, you can't be allowing David Silva there to rise to the occasion and get a header off. That's just atrocious. That's woeful. Defending. It's 1-1. Ronaldo being incredibly cheeky there, trying to get it up over the top, but he's recollected from his failed skill move. Ronaldo cuts back. Ronaldo holds up the ball, finds Carver. How? Oh, Cavalio, sorry. David Silva charging forward relentlessly. Finds Diego Costa. Silva, no! Ilamani, or whatever his name is. Oh. Silva breaking away on the right hand side there for Portugal. Ronaldo dropping back with the Ronaldo chop. Hit it! Oh my god, David De Gea at full stretch. Martinho finds Bernardo Silva. Silva, Pepe, and David De Gea pulls out. Bernardo Silva back at it again. 
Oh, goes for it, but it's a massive deflection. Moutinho from the corner kick. William Carvalho Costa susses that out. It's time to make some substitutions here now. Let's bring on Bruma for Nani. Let's bring on Ricardo Cresma. And let's bring on uh, Silver in the cam. 1-1 one, one against Spain. In real life, it finished 3-3. Three, three. Oh, my God. <sighs> From the set, sort of stop play there. From the throw-in, Thiago Silva manages to capitalize. It's 2-1 against Spain. Damn it. It's either going be to be between myself and, and Spain, I reckon, to top the group. But we need to get a minimum of a draw here. Ricardo, man, poor stuff. And Thiago scores in the 77th. Ronaldo finds Bruma. Bruma beats one. Bruma! Oh my god. That nearly snuck in. Sergio Busquets. Thiago. Oh, Spain nearly go 3 1. Come on, let's counter attack. Guerrero pops it over the top to Bruma. He's got it on the chest. Unbelievable scenes here. Penalty. Oh. Come on. Charisma hunt this down. No. charisma has got it back. Finds Ronaldo in the box and PK gets it out. I think that's it. She's all over Red Rover. The full-time whistle has blown. And we've lost the opening group stage match here today against Spain. After losing their manager days before the tournament, they've managed to consolidate, rally and regroup. And now we sit at bottom of the table. Morocco and Iran still need to be played. Okay, guys, I'm going to simulate the matches against Morocco and Portugal. As I still, sorry, and Morocco and Iran, as I still believe we're going to get out of the group. I'd rather get into the round of 16 quicker and play it. But no, we've gone 1-0 down against Morocco. Oh, my God. We've come back with a whopping 4-1 victory. Guerrero, Nani, and Silva picking up two there. Holy crap, that was a close one. So we've gone to the top of the group now. But Iran have pushed up with a 1-1 draw against Spain. Oh, wow. Okay. 4-4-3. Four, four, Iran is currently um, topping the groups. Come on. Gel Mario picks up the 1-0 victory. Christ, that was a close one. So that pushes us up to the top of the group now with six. And Spain look like they're still going. They've won 2-1 over Morocco. Okay, okay, okay. So I managed to come second while Spain topped the group. All right, so this is how the round of 16 looks. We've got Russia in the round of 16. Spain have Egypt. That's interesting. They've actually progressed. CMD and Guerra have picked up too many yellow cards, so they're ineligible for this match against Russia, which is insane. So Mario, Martinho, uh, Carvajal in the midfield, Pepe, Cohen Trow is going to come on. We've got uh, Cedric as well. We've got a pretty decent number of replacements to come on for Guerrero. So we've still got Font and Pepe as the centre-backs, Cohen Trow, Kedrick on the left and right, and Patricio in goal. Okay, guys, welcome to the second match of today's episode against Russia in the round of 16. They have been on fire in real life. Who would have thought that first massive blowout match against the Saudis would have come to fruition? They've been awesome in this World Cup campaign. So we're going to be facing the Russians in Sochi, the home nation, for the second match. There's some crazy stat about Akinfeev, how he hasn't held like a clean sheet for 10 years in Europe or something. Regardless, Chiroshev, the former Real Madrid man, Los Blancos man. I think he plays somewhere in La Liga now. Villarreal, Sevilla, I can't remember off the top of my head. But nothing overly superb in the Russian squad. No one really outstanding. But they seem to be a pretty cohesive and strong unit in real life. Regardless, let's get stuck onto the, the Rakuskis. Willian finds Nani. Ronaldo just gets his shot away trying to tuck something in on the right. 
William Carvajal intercepts fantastically. Ronaldo with the shot opens. Acres of space and he scored. Cristiano Ronaldo C makes it 1-0 just before the 16th minute with the Ronaldo chop. Cuts away. I thought he put it on a plate there for Guerrero, but he's cut back and gone all the way himself, creating so much space there. Ronaldo starts off his World Cup scoring campaign. Excellent stuff, dummies. Two defenders with the one chop across the face, slaps the side netting, and Akin Thieves' clean sheet has been smashed. 1 0 for Ronaldo. Russia. Pressing forward here. Determined to score. Pops it into the box. Get it out. Oh, come off it. Patricio, man. What are you playing at? That shouldn't have gone in. Why is he standing at the back post there? Woeful scenes against Russia. Ronaldo with a phenomenal strike. And Portugal. Let a lap lost a goal. In. He got stuck on the post. Oh, fuck off. This AI man. Font from midfield. Pepe. He's got a lot of space here, Peps. Oh, Akin has forced him to the save. Bernardo Silva with the chop. Font. And he comes out to Kedrick. Oh, Pepe trying to get his boot around that. Nani blistering away with the cutback. Puts it into the box. That's a poor ball. Martinho's managed to pick up some of the crumbs. Cohen Trow. We're just playing direct root football at the moment. Martinho. Oh, Akinfi with the save. Come on, Silver. Pick this up. Nani's been playing woefully for me throughout this campaign. Bernardo. Nani. Oh, goes for the scissor kick, though. Silver. Bernardo. Four on one situation here. Portugal throwing players forward. Nani, finish this. Oh, you've got to be doing a better strike than that. That was on a plate. It's 1-1 in the 68th. Russia, one last ditch chance. And P Pepe throws his body into it as well. We've got to make some substitutions here now. Let's bring on Bruma for Nani. He's got rapid pace, Bruma. I've got to be bringing him a lot more in, I think. Charisma and uh, Silva coming fresh off the bench as well. It was Cohen Trout. Looked like he committed his body into it. I thought it was... Oh, no, look, it was Pepe. Okay. Bruma breaking away with the cutback. Beats two. Bruma. Bruma. Oh, he's just put it wide. Charisma. Ronaldo. Ricardo Charisma. Bruma. Oh, yes. It's gone over the line. We might need to pop out the VAR technology, but I reckon it's gone massively over the line there. And it has. The goal line decision technology has said it's a goal for Portugal. 2-1. Ricardo Caresma gets to it. It can't quite get over the line, but it takes a challenge for Bruma to pop it just over. Oh my god, what a strike. And why is the Russian guy so far in his net there? Bruma starts off his World Cup scoring with a victory in the 86th minute over. And that's it, guys. The full time whistle has blown. We have scraped through here today against Russia. I feel like my goalkeeping and maybe my defense has somewhat let me down. To be fair, we had left, we had not played with my two starting left back and right back. Both my full backs were out, but what a goal from Ronaldo there. Clinical finish. And then Bruma to pick up one on the late counter there. We have progressed to the quarters of the FIFA World Cup, and we're going to be facing Denmark, who managed to beat Iceland in the quarters. Romelu Lukaku is the top goal scorer. Brazil play Belgium. Germany play England. Man, Germany have been knocked out in real life, of course. But they've made it to the quarters against England. I believe the World Cup campaign in... Uh, Real life's probably a lot more interesting. There's going to be probably an underdog going to win the trophy in real life. Spain play France as well in this. So Guerrero and Siemdu are now back. 
our first choice fullbacks. And hopefully we can do something here today against Denmark going into the semi the quarterfinals now. Okay, guys, welcome, welcome to the third match of today's episode against Denmark. Ronaldo hasn't been firing on all, on all cylinders just yet for this campaign. However, hopefully the tide can change in this. A 2-1 defeat to Spain and a narrow 2-1 victory over Russia has brought us to the quarters against Denmark. Now, you've got to give it to Denmark. They have a strong squad. Christian Eriksen can really pull anything out of the ba bag. Christiansen, Weisser, Thomas Delaney in the midfield are quite strong. So here's the squad. You're most welcome to pause and have a look at theirs. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They've also got Kasper Schmeichel in goal. A pretty solid lad between the sticks. But their left and fullback and their wingers are quite sort of low down the overall potential order. So, we're going to target them as best we can. Denmark have the first attack. Eriksen holding up the ball incredibly well here. We've been beaten there. Siemdu. Oh, Weiss. Weiss has just been broken away. Eriksen. Jorgensen. Oh, my God. Who's hit the deck there? That's unbelievable. Ronaldo. Finds Nani. Come on. Beat him, Nani. Oh, come on. Martinho, Ronaldo, Bernardo Silva gets it back. Ronaldo hit it. Oh, he's gone with his head. He should have just lashed a boot onto that. Pepe. Oh, wins the header, but Kashmir Schmeichel collects. Denmark back at it again. Jorgensen. Real Patricio saves. Siemdu keeps on hitting the deck. Nani strikes to reclaim his wrong. Ronaldo scoops. Ronaldo. Ah. It's time to make some substitutions. Let's bring on Bruma. Sending Zanani hasn't scored in this world, uh, this campaign. Charisma hasn't even, but he's a little bit older. Bruma is pretty much like firing on all cylinders. We'll bring on Gomez in the camp. Try and mix things up instead of bringing on uh, Silva. Gomez from the edge of the area. The Barca man couldn't quite put in the back of the net. Denmark. Eriksen. Font wins it. Come on, let's try and counter-attack. Let's come back into the midfield there. That's unbelievable strike. We're in extra time now. 87th minute. Charisma takes on one. Charisma! Oh, tried to put his laces to it. He's going to get back onto it. I remember when he used to play for Chelsea. That's just crazy. Eriksen. The Danes. The Vikings charging forward. Sisto on the volley. Bruma, William, Ronaldo, oh, Gomez strikes. Come on, Brazil. We can't afford for this going to penalties. What a strike. Bruma beats one. Go all the way, Bruma. Oh, it didn't get a favorable drop, unfortunately. They sometimes do. Christensen. Ericsson! <gasps> that, that went in! No way that didn't go in. Oh my god. I think Denmark have just been robbed there. But look at this counter attack. Gomez. Bruma. Nutmegged. Bruma. No! <laughs> I should have hit it. I should have striked. Oh, I've bottled it. Oh my god, guys. It's going to go to penalties against the Danes here today. Portugal haven't had a convincing World Cup so far. Ronaldo steps up, and it's top right. Boom, chucker, like a motherfucker. It's 1-0 against Denmark. The Danes step up. Portugal's already in front, and the Danes equalize 1-1. Ricardo Quaresma is going to go to the right, and it's been... Oh, it's just gone in. It looks like Kasper Schmeichel might have got a touch to it. Vestergaard and the Norwich man. Oh, it's rattled the crossbar, but it's gone out. 2-1. Portugal prevails. Bruma. Bruma claims his penalty. And Portugal have 3-for-3. Three three. Jorgensen steps up. And 
I've gone the wrong way there, but it's okay. Ciao, Mario. Put this away. Yep. Excellent stuff. I think this is it, yeah. If Denmark fail to score, they will be knocked out of the FIFA World Cup. Eriksson steps up. Christian Eriksson has put it in the back. But if we win here, we've scored 5 for 5. William Carvalho drills it into the back of the net. And Portugal go to the semi-finals of the 2018 FIFA Russian World Cup. Come on, what a strike there. We deserve to beat Denmark in open play. But Kaspir Schmeichel was on fire. And we've prevailed on penalties 5-3. Yeah, looking at the saves, 11. Now, uh, to be fair, Patrice got a 9, but I felt like mine were more convincing while they were sort of more long range. So we've gone against Brazil in the semis, and Germany play Spain. So it's either going to be a Spanish and German final, or a Brazilian-Portuguese final. That's insane. So we're going to be facing our colony, if you will, our former colony, Brazil. Interesting fact, the Brazilians actually speak Portuguese. Now, it's time to make some squad changes. I feel that we haven't been overly convincing, so I'm going to probably bring on Bruma a lot earlier on. But regardless, let's get stuck against get stuck right into Brazil. Heavily favorites to win the World Cup this year. I reckon they're probably going to uh to do it personally. Now, I can't wait to react to my predictor because, man, there's been so many upsets in real life for this World Cup, so not many people are going to get their predictors right, I don't think, but I can't wait to react to, to mine. I already know that uh, <laughs> mine isn't going overly too good. I think I tipped the Germans to overly win, and they've been knocked out. So Gabriel Jesus is starting for the Brazilians. Catenio, Fernandinho, Firmino, Casemiro. That, that midfield is bonkers. They've got Marcelo and uh, Danny Alves. Alisson in goal. Thiago Silva and Miranda are going to be starting in centre-back. Look at that midfield. They've got just a bunch of workers there. Gabriel Jesus in the line. Neymar, 83 rated. Okay, let's get stuck against... The Brazilians, it's pissing down with rain at the moment. So I guess that's we've got that advantage going. The rain tends to help teams who are a poor quality. While the sort of fresh air allow the fre the sorry the, the clean dry seems to help skillful teams. But a straight from kickoff ball and didn't work for us. Martinho, Nani, Ronaldo with the Ronaldo chop. Nani! Ah, oh, couldn't quite put it away. Jal Mario, Martinho, Mario, Bernardo Silva, Ronaldo. Couldn't put it in the back of the net. Nani finds Ronaldo. Beats one. Ronaldo beats two. And has rattled the crossbar. What a goal from Cristiano Ronaldo. And see. That's what you've been waiting for. Just before the 33rd. Cristiano Ronaldo makes it 1 0. What a strike. Beats one, beats two Brazilian players. Gives a thumbs up to the Portuguese faithful. Oh my god, he's beaten one there. Who, who, who just went in with like the hack shot there? Oh, that nearly didn't go in though. Allison at full stretch. Ronaldo with a clean cut clinical finesse. Come on, let's counter attack here now. We scored there from last time. Ronaldo, oh, no way, has he just done Thiago Silva, and that's it, she's all over Red Rover, 2-0 for the Portuguese, and it's taken to the semi-finals of the Russian World Cup to get Portugal off and running and flying, excellent stuff, two goals before the 40, the first time in this World Cup campaign that we scored two goals in the first half, within 40 minutes, no or less, and the Brazilian backline isn't coping, with the speed and power of Martinho and Ronaldo. Fernandinho drills it to Neymar, but Siemdu intercepts. They push way too many for, uh, players forward here. Look at this favourable drop there. Oh, Nani. Ronaldo, Silva, 
Nani, how has he won that back? Come on, Ronaldo. Ronaldo! Oh, holds up the ball, turns, and it's a huge deflection off Thiago Silva there. An incredibly lucky goal. Ronaldo, see, scores his second. It's 3-0 against the Brazilians. We've scored more in our World Cup campaign in this match than we have early, I think. Maybe by one goal, we might have scored four. But regardless, we're on fire. It's pissing down with rain here in Russia. That's probably what's helping us. They can't play their fancy samba football, I guess. Oh my god, that's pretty unlucky though. you got to give it to Portugal, capitalising on that. That's such a bad touch. That's a massive own goal. Can we make it one more? Ronaldo Nani, has been caught. Gets the strike away. Okay, guys, it's time to make some substitutions here now. Let's uh, bring on Bruma for Nani. Let's bring on Ricardo Caresma, Gomez, and try and see out this match. Bring on the triple threat. Hasn't been amazing so far in the campaign, but maybe something can happen. Ronaldo beats one. Ronaldo, will he get his hat-trick? Bruma! Oh, my God. Bruma, the acrobat, makes it 4-0 just before the 72nd. And who would have thought Bruma, fresh off the bench, would have scored that one? He drops down, gives me 20, and seeing he scored two goals off the bench, I might have to play him in the final. Because it looks like we're going there. Nani wouldn't have been able to score that one. Look how fiery... And vicious he is in front of the goal. Excellent stuff for Bruma. Ronaldo finds Silva. Bruma has like 99 pace. He's going to beat Miranda here comfortably. And it's an absolute blowout. Brazil have capitulated 5-0 against the Portuguese here today. Bruma scores two. Ronaldo two as well. Five goals in the match against Brazil. Who would have foreseen that? Unbelievable scenes. Marcelo now coming off and Felipe Luiz on. Neymar with the free kick. 25 yards out. Finds Paulinho and it's a good strike. Willian. Miranda. Oh, can we get one last attack here? Felipe Luis. Yes. Go, 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 Gadget. Ronaldo breaking away. Can he humiliate Brazil? 6-0 for the hat trick. I've got to go for it there. Oh, no. Ronaldo trying to get his World Cup hat trick. But that's it, guys. The full-time whistle has blown. Ronaldo has dropped to the deck because he knows that were in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. The European champions a couple of seasons ago against France at home are now in the final. Ronaldo with two, Bruma with two. Ronaldo picks up a 9.5. And the Brazilians have capitulated just like in the last World Cup when they lost 7-2 to the Germans. Ronaldo starts off with a lucky strike there. I'm not going to lie, off the crossbar. And then after that, she's full guns blazing. Martinho breaks away from the incredible space Ronaldo creates. Ronaldo breaks away again, holds up, gets a huge deflection. And that was it. That was when the Brazilians threw in the towel. All tactical order, all discipline, shot. As they knew they were too unlucky and it wasn't going their way. Nani gets the strike off there. But then Bruma comes through and scores two more. That was insane. This is the highest scoring I've had in this World Cup mode. Ronaldo there. Bruma on the volley. And then he finishes the last goal breaking away. Ronaldo cheekily went for the hat trick. He could have very well made it 6-0. But he wanted the headlines. I don't blame him. So now we are in. The FIFA World Cup against either Spain or Germany. And it's going to be Germany. That would have been incredible if it was Spain. Settings, we lost 2-1 against them. So the 2018 FIFA World Cup is going to be against Portugal and Germany. Brazil lost the third place finish to Spain. 
And Espana have now finished there. I've got to bring on Bruma for this match. He scored three goals in the last two matches. Nanny, I love Nanny in real life. I love him in FIFA so much. But Bruma is just being the outstanding man. The Germans are going to play in their blue away kit, I think. Yeah, let's let them do that. So we're going to be playing on a clear day as well. Oh, should I bring on Bruma? Should I not? No, we'll bring on Nanny for this one. We'll bring on Bruma a little bit early. Because, like, the thing is, right, the thing is, Bruma's come off the bench and scored three, so if it's not broken, don't fix it. So if he keeps on coming off the bench and scoring, I'm kind of happy to keep that. But the Germans are now warming up. They're going for their second World Cup, back-to-back. -back. Let's see who the Germans are fielding. Deutschland Fußball is about to come right at us. Right, okay. Let's see what the Germans are playing and who they are fielding. Timo Werner, Sane, Goetze, Muller, Kadira, Emery Chan, Hector, Botan, Kimmich, Hummels, Manuel Neuer in goal. We still get our front free of Nani, Ronaldo, and Bernardo Silva. Kimmich is right back. Look at this squad, though. Botang, Hummels. How did this squad get eliminated in real life? It's just insane. Kadira, Emery Chan holding. Sane Goetze being the creative force up front. Portugal are coming off an amazing 5-0 victory. And Emery Chan gets a yellow incredibly early on. Two minutes it only took. Portugal pops it into the box. And Silva can't quite get to the header. It looks like it's going to be a cagey affair here today. Oh my god, Neuer's been knocked out there. Get it in. Pop it in. Oh, oh. William nearly puts it in. Guerrero. Ronaldo. Win it back. Nani. Oh, it wasn't a favorable drop, and Bernardo Silva can't get a boot onto it. He's gone too quick there. Ronaldo with the scoop. He can't send Nani. He does, but it's a bit late. Manuel Neuer drops to the deck. Nani with the back heel. No way. Redeem yourself. Bernardo! Oh, that would have been crazy if that went in. That is so unlucky. He's only just offside. Martinho. Bernardo Silva sees an amazing run from Nani. Nani! Ronaldo on the volley. Cristiano Ronaldo has finally stepped up to the plate. It's 1-0 just before halftime. And Portugal score on the 2018 FIFA World Cup final against Germany. Nani gets the shot away. A favorable deflection comes out. And Ronaldo, it's taken him to like the semis and quarters to go firing. He didn't play too well against Russia, Denmark, nor Spain earlier on. But he's starting off with flying colours again. He's starting off the scoring. Moutinho. It's really opened things up. Now that we've got that one goal, we, we could very well go on to score 2-3. Moutinho. Siemdu. No way. Siemdu beats him crazily there. Look how calm and composed he is for a right back, a full back. To be fair, he does play for Barca. Okay, let's bring on Bruma a little bit early on. Let's bring on Gomez as well. And let's bring on uh, Charisma. 56. I usually bring him on around about 65, 70. Bruma's going to win it back here. Determined to put his name on the score sheet. He's done two there. Charisma couldn't beat Hector. That nearly went in. Ronaldo sees the run of Bruma there. Look how quick he is. I've got to play him in one of my FIFA 18 career modes because he's just on fire. Oh, my God. What is that? Hold up play for an 82 rated Portuguese man. He has just done the 92 rated Manuel Neuer. Beats one, beats two, hits it. Gets a touch and it's gone in. It's because he got so centered. Manuel Neuer was just waiting for the shot. Kept on waiting, waiting, waiting. Boom! Bruma capitalized. It's 2-0. Pepe. Look how many players we've got forward here. 
The Germans have pushed way too many forward for them. Gomez, imagine if that went in. Botang, look how Botang's at the top of the box there. He's their centre back. Cruz, Tony Cruz. And that's it, guys. The full time whistle has blown. I'm officially delighted to announce and confirm Portugal has won the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Ronaldo has just won the European Championships and now he has won the Russian World Cup. The scenes, man oh man, we were relentless. We were incredibly dogged at the start to get those victories. We weren't convincing against Spain losing 2-1. We were very shaky against Russia, only just scraping the victory of 2-1. We drew against Denmark, but we managed to beat them on penalties. We had a 5-0 blowout against Brazil. And we've beaten the Germans 2-0 here today from a Bruma and Ronaldo goal. It took Ronaldo a little while to get firing. And Brumer off the bench is deadly. I've got to play him in one of my career modes. Because people have been asking for him. I know he's an awesome player. I've never actually played with him overly too much. But here we go. Here's the festivities. Here's the celebration. Ronaldo has won the FIFA World Cup. Excellent stuff. He has dragged Portugal to this title. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see another FIFA World Cup playthrough in a full video. Maybe I could play as the Germans. Brazil. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I've already played as England. I've already played as Australia. Now I've played as Portugal. And we've gone all the way. Also, stay tuned for more FIFA 18 career modes on the channel. More Manchester United and whatnot. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below players you would like me to sign. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Stay tuned for more FIFA 18 content on the channel. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team, or maybe just some games, I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link, G2A. There's some really good prices, so even just going looking around, to be honest. Anyway, uh, the Patreon Steam group there as well. Come and join the community on Steam. My name has been Simpsy. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simpson. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.